Hello everyone. Uh, for the rest of the year, I want to introduce something new to you, which is the Power BI. Uh, there are a couple of reasons that I want to introduce it to you. The first one is that I actually found it really, really easy to use. It's just surprisingly easy to use. Even if you do not know Excel at all, um, I'm going to show you just step by step how you can just um, be able to use Power BI within just a couple of hours. So that I really, really like. Uh, the second reason actually is my first reason uh, to start using Power BI is that it can make really, really pretty charts. So as you can see, here are some samples I found online um, of the charts, which I think everyone would agree that they look better than the charts that we are able to do in Excel. So while Excel is a really powerful tool and I, I'm definitely continuing to use it, I do find that like especially for visualization of your data, it is quite handy to be able to use Power BI. And I will spend uh, the next few videos to show you step by step how to do that. And it's again, really, really easy. And also once you create the charts in Power BI, you're, it's very easy to explore them in PDF, um, in Power, um, in, into PowerPoint for your reporting and for uh, demonstrating to your clients or um, your management. So I found it really, really handy and I use it on a daily basis. Uh, uh, the next reason for using Power BI, which is a little bit more for the advanced user, is that um, I found that uh, when you deal with a large quantum, a uh, large volume of data, Power BI is better. It performs much faster. Um, it stores the uh, data a lot better, um, connects the databases a lot better than Excel. And of course, and even the size of the files is a lot smaller than Excel. So I found that if you are dealing with uh, a reasonable large content of data on a day-to-day -day basis, it is always good to know, even that you can do it in Excel, it is always better to know that you can also um, do it um, in the Power BI as well. Uh, okay, so uh, to start with, um, I will show you here, like I'm seriously starting from ground zero to you. So I'm going to show you how to download Power BI. So um, as a, for your information, it, it is a free tool. Um, you can use the web version. It, there's also a desktop version, which I recommend you to download. It's free. Um, if you want to share things with people on cloud service within your organization, very likely you need a pro license. But if you just need to do some visualization, just do analytics for yourself, you do not need that it's a completely free tool okay so let me show you how to download it step by step okay so uh, in order to download the uh, power bi desktop you google for this link um, it's the power bi microsoft link and then you click onto it it's going to ask you um, it's going to show you a few options desktop and mobile i always start with a desktop um, just know that if you have a microsoft uh, account office account for example i'm an office member uh, actually when you sign in you can automatically have uh, the web version of it so you don't even need to download it but for me I still prefer to have the down, uh, the desktop version, so I would go to desktop, um, and I actually need to go to the advanced downs, um, download option, um, and you can choose what you can download. So if I choose to download English. Uh, here's the tricky one. So it's gonna ask you whether you wanna download the 64 or the regular, which I believe is uh, the 32. So if you are someone who's like me, who have no idea what it is, I will tell you how to find out which one you to choose. So in order to do that, you need to go to your control panel, just on your star search for control panel, open, um, and go to your system and security, click to it, and then find this option of system. So this is where you can find the information about your system. And what you should be looking for is the system type. So here, for example, what I'm using is the 64-bit operating system. I have no idea what it is, but it doesn't matter. That means that I need to choose the 64. Okay, great. So now you can see um, the installation is done uh, and the Power BI desktop is coming up. So just so you know, I found that if you try to use this in a corporate laptop, um, you almost always should ask admission, uh, uh, permission from your IT. 
And uh, they, if you just need to use the desktop ver uh, version for it, uh, it's a free account. They just need to give you the permission to download it. However, if you need the uh, pro account, so you can see this is how it's going to show you. So you have two options, um, which one is um, signing. Um, or you can use the pro account. So if you're just using this for your purpose, um, you don't have anyone to pay for additional costs, that's fine. You can totally just use it for free. However, um, if you need to share this with someone else, so let's say you create a file, you need to publish to the cloud, um, and then you want to share with someone here. So anyone with uh, a Microsoft account can actually see what you do um, and they can uh, play around with it, then you that's when you need a pro account, uh, which is a small fee. I believe it's a, about like 10 US dollars per month, uh, which a lot of companies are happy to pay for their employees. Uh, but if not, that's again, like totally fine. Okay, so that is everything I want to cover today. For the next series of videos, I'm going to show you how to do awesome charts and awesome reports and analytics in Power BI. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.